In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for the practice exam number two for math 1060, in which case we're trying to find an equation to match the graph of the provided trigonometric function right here. So when we look at this, the basic shape of this thing looks like it's a sinusoidal wave. That is, it's a sine or a cosine. Um, looking at the graph, because we start at the midline right here, this makes me want to do a sine wave. Also, as it's a multiple choice question, every option is in terms of sine, so we should be doing this as a sine wave. The most general sine wave would look like y equals some amplitude times sine times, you could have some coefficient, you could have some type of shift, some type of x minus h over b, like so, uh, plus k. This is the most general form we could see. Now, when we look at this thing, the amplitude can be found as the distance well, let's first mention the midline, which is going to be right here. It's just the x-axis. Since the midline is the x-axis, it would appear that no type of vertical shift is going on whatsoever. Also, since we're starting at the origin for a sine wave, there's not any horizontal shift going on as well. Uh, the next thing to notice is that the amplitude is going to be how far above or below the midline does our sine wave go. It goes all the way up to 2, so we see that A is going to equal 2 right here. And so the last thing to consider then would be the period. Uh, how, off, how long does it take to repeat one cycle, which we see on the screen right here? We start at zero, um, we end at two pi right here. So the period B, well, excuse me, the, the, this coefficient B, which is related to the period, it's gonna be two pi over the period, which we see the period here is, is two pi, the period, let's make that specific, is two pi right here. So B is just gonna turn out to be one. So simplifying this thing, we see that our function is just gonna be Y equals two sine of X. And so we see the correct answer would be choice D.